Now we've noticed so far utilitarianism is concerned with the consequences of actions. That is, any rules that there are are based on, if there are such things, they're just shorthands, they're heuristics, they're these rules that work a lot of the times that, that help us not have to calculate utilities, but there are no kind of absolute moral rules, rather the outcomes, the consequences of what happens determines the morality. That's why we call utilitarianism a version of consequentialism. Now, Kant's theory is diametrically opposed to that. In fact, he thinks there are absolute rules, and where this becomes an issue uh, can be highlighted by the following example. There's a very famous philosopher, Elizabeth Anscombe. Uh, she was referred to as Miss Anscombe her whole life, even though she was married for almost 60 years to another very famous philosopher named Peter, British philosopher named Peter Geach. They both were at Oxford. Um, she was opposed to World War II on uh, moral grounds. She's a convert to Roman Catholicism. Uh, but after the war, 1956, she had been a professor at Oxford, and she absolutely protested um, Oxford's decision to give Harry Truman, Harry Truman, the President of the United States, an honorary degree. And the reason she objected to this was because of Harry Truman's decision to drop atomic bombs on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II to end the war. She thought that this was absolutely wrong, it, similarly, it similar to her opposition uh, to war, uh, to, to entering World War II at all. Now, so it was clear for her there are absolute lines that cannot be crossed. And in this regard, she was a, um, I was going to say a fan, but maybe she, she, was cert she certainly took the Kantian approach with regard to moral rules. And now the other question is, and let me remind you of the involuntary organ transplant donor case that we said was a problem for utilitarianism. That is, if one person, if taking all of one person's organs would save, you know, that is, pulling them out would save five much younger people, would that, and, and would that justify it? According to utilitarianism, under the right set of circumstances, yes, but certain people just say, no, it's just murdering somebody. It is absolutely never permissible uh, to engage in action like that. And that's exactly the side that Kant saw. And Kant thinks that there are moral rules about lying, prim making promises, murdering, which hold regardless of the circumstances and Absolutely, there are no exceptions to these rules whatsoever. So that's another element, perhaps a peripheral one, to Kant's, the Kant's moral theory, but that's one of the motivating factors of Kant's theory.